Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to break down every card I played in this Total Praise video. So let's begin. Okay, so the first one, we're in the key of C sharp. So the first chord would be this. Right? And you can play it this way. Or this way. Or this way. Okay, and the other part is I, so the right hand, the left hand, and now we need to go to will, I, will, and I'm always playing the melody notes at the top, so you can pay attention to that. So normally you would go. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do something a bit different. So we're going to play. We have gone to the six. We're still maintaining the melody note. And the chord is B flat. Six. So. So right hand. Left hand. And we go to the six major. The left hand is playing this pattern. Right, so what's next? So we have the first chord would be this. Right hand, left hand, and the other one, right hand, left hand, the other chord is this, right hand, and left hand. So this is, that's the right hand, 
Just some little little embellishments here. And in the right hand I play, left hand I play. So when I hit C here, that's when C sharp starts. And when I hit F here, that's when this chord comes in. And this is the four. You can play it this way or just if you cannot stretch, you have no other option just to play the octave, the four, the octave and the octave and the fifth. Okay. So on the three, we play Okay, over the three. So the right hand melody is playing this. Let's play it slowly. And the left hand is playing over this. So it would be this. Da 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 da. And this is normal you'd play or what I played. Okay. The B flat to the sorry B to the C sharp. And this is basically the the E flat minor. E flat minor. Right hand. Left hand. Second chord. And the third chord. Left hand. Other part. right hand left hand and here after this we're basically just going to the A flat minor to maintain the melody right so this chord the right hand is this and the left hand is that right hand left hand So we're here. So the melody in the right hand is playing. Right? And the left hand is playing. So we need to go here.
So we're here. Right hand. We're still having the melody. Left hand. And together. Right. Right hand. Left hand. And this is basically and the right hand is playing this left hand sorry it's playing this so the right hand The left hand. So after here, we we'll just play the F sharp nine and then the A flat nine. Right? And it's basically that little thing is this chord. play like an arpeggio over this chord the A flat 9 how we played, played it this way and now we're here which is basically a C sharp over the B you normally hear this chord And we're just playing the same C sharp here, but we added the dissonance, the F and the F sharp. Right? It's basically an A flat here, A flat inversion. And this slides from the B flat to the C. So we have Now we have The right hand is playing this You can watch my finger in call because this is a bit funny Are you watching the left hand? So that's the pattern. Now we're at the two, still in C sharp. So that little movement is this right hand left hand and just going down semitones twice right and this is the other card right hand left hand And this chord right here realize we're still having the melody so the right hand this is basically a D major 7 with the ninth and 
left and explained that. So let's run it from there, from prior. Here, we're here, so we need to go here. We need the card for this melody note. And this I showed you guys this already in a previous YouTube tutorial I did on the different types of 736. So this is one of it. So we're playing the 736. So it's basically the right hand is playing this. The left hand is playing. And this is the second card. Third card. Right? Three. Okay. So this is the six, right hand, and the left hand. So the left hand is playing this melody, the right hand is playing. You can either do this or this, it's all up to you. Okay. So the next part, so we went to the one, the after, you are the source of my strength. I just played the melody note, the single note. And you went to the one. So it's a slide from the F sharp to the F to the E flat over the one C sharp. Okay. And this, I just played this card over the one. So right. So the right hand, left hand together so we had you are the source right so the source so here we went to the two the major of the two so it's the E flat major. You move the G and play it down here. And the right hand is playing like a B flat. B flat basically. That just omitted the D. Let's run it back a bit. So we have. So we play the melody, source of my strength. So this is basically the E flat, the E, sorry. After the E flat went up a semitone to E. The right hand. The left hand, you can either play the B or the C sharp. The B here. Or the C sharp. All up to you. So after we went to
So we play this, this, starting from the B flat, carry it up a semitone, then we go up a tone, then we played this. So from the B flat up a semitone once, then a tone. A tone is basically two semitones. Two semitones. So tone after the semitone. Then we play this card. So together, right hand and left hand. The left hand plays this over this card. So that's the left hand. Okay. Let's run it back. So we have. So we went back to the fours. Sorry, we went back to the four. And you guys probably know how to play these twirls by now. I've broken down so many of these. The same fingering for all of them. And this is over the four. Right? And we're just still playing the melody. You are the strength of my life. I believe that's the other part. So after the four, you are... I need to play. So what did I play here? So when the sharp six or the flat seven, So I played the sharp six. So after this, you can play that for the one. The strength, our source of my life. I don't know the words properly, so stay with me. Right. So we're keeping the melody. Source of my life. So after the flat seven, we went to the two, which is the E flat minor, left hand, and the right hand is playing the F sharp. And and for life, we play the the minor five. So right hand, left hand, that's just some random stuff guys, don't mind me. So we have, you got that? So let's move on. So we're going back to the 6 in C sharp. So this is a passing chord to take it to the 6. So that's one passing chord you could play. Okay, so this. And more twirls. And guys, you have to practice this to get it as clean. Okay. Okay, what's next?
So we have. I'm just playing the single notes. Just an embellishment here. And this is the five. So instead of you playing a boring five or, or this, I play the five this way. Okay, so the right hand and the left hand. Bit of a stretch. So we're, we're closing it out now. So we, I think this part is, I lift my hands in total praise. Okay, so we're going, we're going there. Hands. So this is the card for hands. Right hand. Hands. In. Going to in. In. So that's the other card. Right hand. So my total. So we are playing the melody note. So the right hand is playing this. The left hand is playing this. So we have so total. So this is for tal. Right hand, left hand. Total praise, praise. So this is the B. Total prayer. So I did that. Then I just played. Yeah. So that's over the four. So flat seven. Then five, flat seven, four, five, and then we'd end it. Let's see. And this part is just an instrumental. So it's basically after we went here. Instead of closing out on the major, I just turn this into a minor. So, so how I view it now, when this became a minor, in my mind, I'm now in the key of E. Why? Because I turn this into a minor, so I'm now saying, all right, this is the six of E. The six of E, C sharp minor, right? So. So I'm transitioning mentally into E. So I'm playing six, seven, one, and two, which is F sharp. So those card, cards are this. Six, seven, right hand, and left hand and this is for the one 
left turn. Right, and for the tool, just the F9. And you can add stuff over this by just playing. Just add various inversions over the F sharp. And those are basically just inversions going through. You just have to work out your various inversions. You don't have to be a set way. You don't have to play the boring inversions. Just work stuff out. I'm going to show you this. That's like a 736 to get to this, get back to the six. Call it a passing card. So this card. First one. Second one. Just diminish. Takes us back to the six. So this is So you have to find a way to do this while holding down the C You cannot practice it over time it becomes easier and the left hand now the left hand is playing that right and that's basically it So I'm just playing over the A, I'm playing the F sharp. Over the A, that's basically it guys. If you like this video and you want to see more, I have another video for you, check it out.